Hello guys, how are you? Okay, this time I will sharing how you can check the network traffic, you know, using the TCB dem command. Okay, before that, let's go and check the TCB. What is the TCB dem in the main page? So TCB dem is just uh, damping the traffic on your network, you know. Uh, you have multiple network interface. Also, you can see the all the, the interface, you know, traffic information whether somebody accessing or not or you and go and access there you know other internet uh, services just a uh, google youtube all these things you can check and you can learn something you know how these traffics are working what is the details information you know it's very you know uh or how to say that uh interesting but you know if you really interest about the network traffic things you can use this command to check your computer network traffic okay there is a uh, some different switches, you know, based on that, there is a, this one is quite useful, capital D, which means the, you can check all, all your network interface currently inside your operating system, then uh, you can check which one is up and running, okay, based on that, you can filter, only you want to, you know, check the specific information, specific interface, you know, traffic, or you want to check all the, your interface currently running and app, with which one is you want to filter based on your requirement, okay. So there is some different switches. Uh, if you interest, you go and read the main pages. And there is a lot, you know. You can list all the informations. And there is some uh, useful is uh, dash V. So there is a three V, uh, one V, two V, three V. So based on that, if you give the travel V right, you can see more output informations, you know. So yeah if you when you are debugging or when you're troubleshooting some network from for example you cannot manage to connect the ssh from your remote system to your system you can you can use this you know switch to you know get the more verbose information okay so if you rest you go and check and so okay some there is some other example you know if for example you want to check only the send down traffic so you can use this uh parameter host to give the host name to check that you know some uh send down the host name computer what is really traffic is running you know all these things you can check from here okay let's go and practice ourselves before that uh, i will share you this tcb traffic uh, this one is the command line one if you want really want to use the uh graphic uh, interface right there is a wire share Oh, this one is the Wireshack. This one is the same as the DCB. Then I think you can more useful to use the Wireshack. But if you are only interface the command line where you can use the DCB then. Okay. So this time I will only sharing the, the DCB then how you can use it. First of all, let's check our interface. How many interface are currently inside our operating system. Okay. So output will be different based on your computer, based on your, you know, uh, operating system no so this one is i'm using from the kali then i can see all these interfaces inside my operating system but you have to realize that there is a different uh description like for example it is you currently is up and running and connected those which means only this interface currently working the rest of the interface is not working any the any any means all the network interface only include the app and running one so currently app and running is uh, ETA 0 and then uh, looper interface the rest of the interface not connected so if you uh, use there you know you not filter anything right if we're using the only app band running interface currently I have only two interface are uh, app and running loopback and ETA 0 interface okay so first of all I don't want to filter anything I just use the any option to check my computer network traffic okay tcb dev then put interface then any so which me i want to check any interface and i don't want to filter whether you want to check the http traffic or you know uh, you want to traffic ssh traffic or you want to check specific ip address so you don't want to filter just check every traffic information just just enter currently you know listening on there uh any interface so there is two interface you just remember right one is there uh it is zero one is a loop back okay so currently i don't have any traffic yet but you have to wait a few seconds then it will show currently what what traffic are running currently inside my operating system okay so i want to see more traffic rise 
uh, I will open the browser. After open the browser, you will start seeing the same traffic and because of the browser SM, uh, connected things are go and connect the internet. I don't know whether my internet connection is currently working or not. Let me try. I would connect the google.com for example. So it's browsing already. Then go and check the traffic whether I can see or not. Sorry. Okay. I can see the same Google traffic. Not this is not the Google traffic. This is just the and uh, DNS record all the DNS working things. What is the A record, alias record? What is the pointer information? You know, and then you can the browser is going to checking and asking, hey, what is the Google.com IP address? And you know, all this back end doing things that uh, you can check from the network traffic. Really interesting, right? What you really doing when you click on the set setting? Uh, network connection applications or something right you can see all this network traffic are running from your back end so currently i'm browsing there google.com google.com is still asking hey where is the uh, google.com ip address so you know same problem with my browser so cannot manage to access the browser yet okay but still requesting and talking hey give me dns address i i don't know what is dns but i don't know the ip address of google okay let me try the another youtube so you can go and check the YouTube traffic from here. Sorry. So you can see, uh, let me find out. Uh, there is a YouTube traffic. Okay. So this is a YouTube traffic. So all this, uh, maybe you will running the multiple application, right? All these traffics are ran. Uh, you can check from your operating system. But currently my one is going to manage to connect the remote system. But stay uh, in progress to, you know, uh, talking the, the network. Hey, where is the uh ip address alias record all the things working you know so this is all the network traffic and they're asking the address resolution protocol if you have networking knowledge you will know what is the arbs okay so this also you can use you know filter currently right you just only uh monitoring everything okay so this time what am i do i will filter i don't want to see all this uh, useless traffic you know uh, I want to check only specific traffic then uh, I want to traverse you or I want to do something okay let's cancel control C okay currently I have 191 package are capture okay let's clear the screen this time uh, I will uh, capture only 10 traffic so the switch is dash C 10 okay i want to capture only 10 traffic so i don't want to see rest of the things and then please close the uh, applications uh please terminate the tcb damp functions okay after finish this damp packet so enter so you have to wait a few seconds after temp package is reached right then uh the it uh, the connection will be terminated not connection will be terminated the tcb damp command function will be stopped you know so you have to wait a few seconds this one is you have to give only how many packet you want to uh, uh capture you know so now the 10 package is already captured right it's stopped already that's all you don't want to see so many things just only the limited uh, packet you want to capture okay so this is uh packet capturing on the based on the limitations okay this time i want to filter based on the protocol okay so i want to filter based on the protocol what protocol i want to filter i want to try only the icmp packet icmp do you know that you can find on the internet icmp is a ping protocol you know it's, it will be uh whether you receive the uh, cat ping from the remote system or you go and ping to the remote system so this is icmp request and response you know so this time i will check the icmp protocol whether any icmp protocols are you know getting or uh, we are sending to the remote or not just i want to try the icmp okay so currently i don't have any uh you can wait a few seconds sorry so you didn't see anything right which means uh, we haven't uh received any ping from the the remote system also we are not pinging to the remote system as well okay so we didn't see any icmp package and you know, running the tcb dam to filter right so i will try to ping the remote system first 
Okay, let's ping www.google.com. I have some connection. I'm stop it. Okay, I'm pinging. But my my TCB then show show there ah uh, this traffic something whether it's not successful or something you know it will show. You have to wait a few seconds. My ping is doing on the the resolution. You no, know? currently try to resolve there. IP address of the W. So currently I cannot manage to resolve, but you can see the traffic. Sorry. Oh, ICMB is currently not working. You have to wait. I think it's something ICMB TCP. Then it's correct everything. How can ICMB protocol is not really working? Try again. Okay, I cannot see any web boost or maybe you can, I need to use the same move web boost to put the minus V because of, I need to see the same error messages. Maybe we will enter. Okay, so I think this time I, I can see the error message. I cannot manage to ping the remote system. Okay, let me try to ping the... Ping my IP address. Uh, 192.168.75.128 uh, Okay, so I'm pinging the my system Whether I can see or not, let's see Okay, I saw the one packet You know, there is a one packet in here from, Oh, I saw a lot Okay So my error resolution problem is gave me So I cannot monitor So I saw, I can see, you know, all this But now it's, you know, the, the the crazy part is I'm pinging from the same, you know, IP address to same IP address. Echo and sending and, you know, responding is, you know, uh, the same IP address. So I don't want to try this. I want to ping from the another remote IP address. Okay, let's see whether change there. This this is the source IP address. You know, this is the source IP address. So this one is the destination IP address. Okay, this is request, which means you sending the ping and then you sending, the, you get the reply. So uh unfortunately we are using the same ip address right so i don't want to use it i will cancel the ping okay i will cancel it so i want to ping the other ip for example i want to ping uh when okay i want to ping this ip address okay see whether we can see the this time we are the sender okay we are sending to the another ip address okay let's see Okay, so finally we have saw this 75.1, which means uh, this IP address is my IP address. No, you, I am the sender already. You know, I am the sender. I'm sending the ping to 75.1. So I am the sender. I send the request, and then 75.1 is uh, reply. I I think not. I didn't get any reply. You know, only requesting. So 75.1 is something wrong or maybe firewall or some other problems you know so i didn't get any reply from ping right also you can see from there that tcb demo sorry uh always have a habit okay tcb you know you see only the request you didn't see any reply from here so which means that the remote who is a uh, network connection down or maybe the firewall is blocking or something you know you can see this also, you can see from the ping output. Also, ping output. So I didn't receive any, you know, reply from here. Okay. So this time I will cancel it. I will reply from another host. Let me try. Ping one nine two dot one six eight dot seventy five dot one two eight. Okay. So hopefully I can see there somebody is pinging my system. This one also you can monitor whether somebody is pinging or not. 
Okay, finally I got it. You know, uh, this one is uh, what is this? Oh, uh, seventy-five dollar one. This one is there. Uh, remote IP address pinging to my system IP address. Okay, what is it? Re request so that my system reply this IP address. My my current uh Linux system is there. Seventy-five dollar one. Do is getting reply to there. 75 or one so this one also you can monitor somebody's pinging your system you know pin dead pin dead or pain something like that you know it's quite busy you are operating sorry the network interface so that your network load is slow down you know you can monitor using that uh tcb dem command to you know monitor the icmb traffic okay so this one is there you how to say that you monitoring the tcb traffic using the icmb protocol okay so this time I will be monitor the HTTP service whether HTTP services is uh, my HTTP web server is really working or not how many IP address are currently accessing you know all these things you can use the uh, filter using the HTTP traffic so the command is the same tcp dash dash i any or maybe you can put the which interface you are facing on the public you know or internal based on your uh, web server configurations okay so this time i will check the port number x0 okay but uh, the real your port is using the HTTPS. currently i'm running only the uh, http port x0 okay so i will try port x0 so currently there is no any uh http traffic so i will browse the page from the external let me try Wait, uh, I'm assessing the page 192.168.75.128. Okay, so okay, let's go and see. I'm I'm request from the another terminal, so you will not see. I'm what am I typing now? So I didn't see any uh assessing thing. Let me try again. 192.168.75.128 okay so i'm finally i request the http uh port number 80 but i still didn't see the port connection okay so i'm give the verbose output or maybe the you have to wait a few seconds you know then it will be listening port will be show the traffic information so i'm i'm finally i'm Cancel and I try again. I want to use the move or boost output. Okay, dash v v v. Then enter. Okay, you have to wait a few seconds. Then you can see the traffic information. You know, so this is the traffic information I'm browsing. currently the tts128 okay this is the traffic information you can browse okay now you can see so many traffic okay let's analyze the traffic first okay so there is so many traffic you can see you are using the port 80 okay this is only you are monitoring the port 80 http traffic okay so as you can see right this is the source ip address which ip address is currently assessing your operating their web service okay web server so this is the your website ip address okay your web server ip address using their port number 80 and then this is the user agent you know which user agent they are using using the mozilla firefox okay do assessing their uh your web page okay you can see the, all these user agent this is the header information like i already shared on the car command you know how to check the header information right so this is all this you are monitoring the http traffic okay this time you can see all this uh, flat information you know df all this flat info you can reference on the internet what is the flat uh what is the acknowledgement flag? what is the fame flag? what is the push flash you know you have to check the this tcb dump command really for you if you interest the network right then you can you know see all the details information what really happening on the back back end side you know when you're assessing from the front end what is the back end side is running you can learning you can study you know you can do something investigations you know it's really useful 
Okay, let's cancel the thing first. This time, what I might do is I don't want to see anything from the screen. I want to see only save inside the file, you know, for example, this information I don't want to see on the screen. So I want to only uh, save inside the file, then I will read later. Okay, so I want to, I need to create the file first. Uh, that I will create the MD file. Uh, HTTP traffic dot pcap. This is uh, this is the extension is the pcap file. Then you can read back the the file extension pcap extension. Okay, so I'm created already. Then I will ask them to TCP. Hey, please write the network traffic information inside this file. So the finding is HTTP underscore dre ffic traffic dot pcap. Okay, okay, so this time you know this currently the operating system is uh TCP dam connections, you know, uh, traffic to fill sorry, the capturing the traffic from the back end and then saving inside the file, you know. Now, currently 37, you know, or maybe you can limit this just now. I already share how many packets you went to. Uh, capture for example you want to capture only 10 packet also you can split minus c2 you know you can filter the another uh, parameter you know so currently uh got 51 okay let me cancel then read the fine what currently the the http traffic to fine is capturing okay so go and read how you can read using tcb dem also can read tcb dem minus r uh, read then http underscore dreffic dot pcap oh reading from try warning the interface name might not be correct what is the interface name might not be correct i don't know what is the error message kindly reading sorry just you have to wait a few seconds the land okay so all these informations are safe inside the file the file is here you know ls you can see that the file is here where is that http <laughs> now there is a file http traffic to pcap so currently the all these traffics are safe inside the pcap file okay so you don't want to see on the screen just now we read it back okay so this time i don't want to see the traffic i don't want to cancel so that what i will do is i will uh limit the packet for example i want to only limit the 10 packet then close the file okay i don't want to put cancel after 10 packet is reached so you have to save inside the file that's all okay so this is you give the permission to write inside the http traffic or pk file then the file will be safe after 10 packet is reached okay the bank 10, 10 packet is already filtered right the the, uh, the traffic information is safe inside this file you can read back if you want you have to wait just now i want to see the interface information might not be correct why why is seeing like that i'm not sure okay so this ip address is assessing the remote server ip address okay so the the status is okay which means they can manage to browse the page you know okay you got the reply that this one is sending reply the http 200 is okay you can access my web page something like that you know okay so this is you can read from the traffic just now we uh read there uh, you we limit there the packet side right then after 10 packet is reached it's automatically close the connections then you can read the information but the previous all these informations are over right okay this is how you can save inside for example you need to troubleshoot the network information or right? ask me somebody so hey please uh save the pickup file and then send back to me and then you can analyze what is really happening okay so this time i will be monitoring the ssh traffic okay it's same it's quite easy right just put the dash i then any port number is what is the ssh port 22 i think you remember right 
then you can put here then I will access from the remote IP address then you can see the traffic 192.168.75.128 okay so kindly you haven't seen any traffic but you have to wait a little bit you know you will see some data traffic from here because I already sent the request to the remote server. Hey, I want to access using the SSH protocol. So currently, you know, it's currently the, the interface is listening and capturing. Later, it will be displayed. Okay, now finally, you saw some connection information, right? So this is the SIM packet, you know, SIM packet sending from the 75.1. Then the SSH server IP address is 75.128. Okay, so... This one is uh you can see that sim packet you know and then push packet you know push packet some data is sending ssh request all this thing you can see from here you know acknowledgement packet you know acknowledgement packet and then 75 is give me the acknowledgement all this packet informing how the ssh is working you can see from here okay currently i haven't typed any the username and password i will let me try for example i'm the bad guy okay so i type the username right it will see somebody sending the uh 75.128 is sending the push data packet you know lunch is 96 96 80 okay so this is all the uh, after that the 75.1 is acknowledged okay i got it reply i got your acknowledgement you know so i will type the password One, two, three. Okay, finally I type the password. I managed to access it. So finally I uh the seventy-five dollar when acknowledge. Okay, I received your window lens how much something like that, you know, window side everything on the HTTP TCB frame. So this all about your SSH connection. You can monitor from here what is the source IV, what is the destination IV, what is the sequence. So for example, you cannot manage to access SSH, right? You can oh sorry, I got the SSD9 error. Oh, so acknowledge already but i have some problem to access uh for example this one is the finished packet i didn't see just now the finished packet so finished packet is connection terminated something brown you know maybe the password problem maybe the some firewall problem you know this is the fin flat so finish already so there is no any connection okay so i will connect back again whether we can see there let me clear the cancel first clear I want to run again okay so try again to put the okay open let's wait you have to see the same you know traffic information from here you know you have to wait a few seconds because after receiving the traffic from the remote system right uh after the capture you have to they have to the tcb them command uh display back on the terminal so finally we got that terminal what we really have been in, you know you see all this sim packet uh this ip address is requesting the uh singing packet and then after that it is sending the uh push push me the same data packet then finally everything uh ssh the remote service give back the acknowledgement okay i receive your request okay finally this one also uh acknowledge and then acknowledge each other okay we have the connection is established uh let's uh provide your uh, login information okay i will provide the login information i'm an intruder okay so i have got that uh sam acknowledge also i'm sending there you log in information right i got the acknowledgement okay this time i will type the password okay finally i got the connection okay so uh, this is connection successful let analyze the packet okay all the uh, data packet is sending finally we got the acknowledgement so we have established the connections so we didn't see any fame flag right the sequence number acknowledgement you know all this one you can you can land the tcb handshake how tcb handshake is working okay 
So all this thing you can read their knowledge and then you can analyze traffic how their traffic is working when you assess SSH when you assessing a DHCP how you assess the HTTP all this thing you can learn from this traffic. Okay, this one is uh, all about you know using the TCP uh, damp command you know checking whether the traffic is really working or not. Okay, so you can troubleshoot you can do everything whatever you want. Okay, so that's all from my video. So you can learn and then read them membish and practice yourself anything you can write that comment section. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye